This is the one who was not deserted by God on the day of struggle, and now wears a crown of victory for faithfulness to the Lord's commands. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Stanislaw, bishop and martyr. He's the patron of Poland. He was the bishop in the, the late 1000s, um, 1074, I think, was the, the year uh, that he died. Uh, but he, he stood up against the, the, the king, who is a, a bit of a tyrant, and he served the poor. And so through his intercession, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, for whose honor the Bishop St. Stanislaw fell beneath the sword of his persecutors, grant, we pray, that we may persevere strong in faith until even death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, We gave you strict orders, did we not? to stop teaching in that name. Yet, you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, the one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. 
Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. So as we continue to read with the the Acts of the Apostles, we have another just bold statement from Peter today before the the Sanhedrin and the high priests, is we must obey God rather than man. It's a good reminder to us that just because something is legal doesn't mean that it's moral. We need to remember these things, especially as we, we grow more and more in a secular world and away from, from a life of Christendom, that we must obey God, that that must be the law that first and foremost is in our hearts, that one day we will have to stand and, uh, and attest for that before God, but we don't do that alone. And that's what Jesus is speaking to precisely one of those Sanhedrin when he's speaking to Nicodemus. And so he's saying that God does not ration the gift of the Spirit. The Spirit isn't something that you know what, you've done well today, so we're going to give you a little bit more. Or today's going to be a good day, so God's going to give you a little bit more of the Holy Spirit. No, no, no. The Holy Spirit has rushed upon you in the fullness of the life of the Trinity, has been given to you since your baptism has rushed upon you. You've been sealed in the gift of the Holy Spirit at your confirmation. The divine life dwells in you and gives you everything that you need just as much on your worst day as on your best day. The Spirit is giving you everything that you need. We just need to tap into it to remember that our ego gets in the way of of living that life with the Spirit. We need to remember that it's, it's our bitterness, our frustration, our sin that gets in the way of living the life with the Spirit. And so, Lord, let us let go of those things. Let us remember that you are who I am obedient to above all, that My whole life is dedicated in glory to you because you living through me is truly beautiful and worth living. Amen. Trusting God's great love for us, we turn to him now at the prayers of this community and family. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Blaise, our bishop, Jeffrey, our vicar, Wayne, our pastor, and all holy ministers of the church, that we may be consecrated to the sacred heart of Jesus Christ as faithful, fruitful, and saintly shepherds, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all government leaders and elected officials that in docility to the will of the Holy Spirit and in humility, that they may govern for the sanctity of all human life from conception to natural death and for the common good. We continue to pray for peace around the world through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all those who are sick and suffering, for those who have asked for our prayers, those who have no one to pray for them, and for those who have not yet come to know the love of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord for an increase in vocations to the diocesan priesthood, religious life, dedicated single life, and holy matrimony here in the Archdiocese of Chicago, and particularly from our parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For all the holy souls in purgatory, for all those who have died and all those who will die this day, that they may see the light of God's face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For the intentions of this Mass, John McGeady, for Art Devereaux, and for for the Knott family, we pray to the Lord. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, which we offer to you offer to your majesty, in commemoration of the blessed martyr Stanislaw, that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Lift Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Stanislaw, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestows strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Zan in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Zan in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Alleluia.
Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and in his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lord may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. St. Michael, Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Stanislaw. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay dry out there. <laughs>